My name is John Fromm. I'm the uh, Secretary Treasurer of the Central Labor Council. And we're out here today on June 1st uh, to continue a, a line of demonstrations that we've begun uh, to uh, point to the many inequalities that we're having across our country. Uh, most recently, we've had um, some horrible instances of police brutality that has led to the death of yet another uh, black man in Minneapolis. And we see that as uh, part of a continuing pattern and the reasons we're out here today. I'm here in solidarity with the grandmothers who haven't been able to pay their rent since April. Han pasado dos meses. Están comiendo de food for people. For two months, having to rely on food for the people. Han pasado dos meses. Y están recibiendo anuncios de que les aumentan la renta. And for two months, they've been getting notices that the rent is going to go up. Han pasado dos meses. Y muchos de esos casos no pueden hacer el test del COVID. And for two months, those people don't have access to be able to be tested for COVID. Nuestra gente está espantada de salir positiva, ir al hospital y morir en soledad. Our people are scared to go and get checked and die alone. Nuestra gente está espantada de los propietarios de la renta. ¿A dónde van a ir sin pagar? Our people are scared of the property owners. Where are they going to go? We've heard stories from the undocumented communities that there are landlords that are raising the rents right now um, because of the, the virus, but there's no income coming in, so it's just making things uh, worse for these families and making things stressful. And As a renter, I was expecting some sort of relief or assistance from my landlord, and I didn't get any of that. Um, he didn't lower the price or anything, and so I was expected to continue paying my monthly rent even though my income had decreased by almost half. Well, luckily I have a nice setup in my car, so maybe I can live in there. Um, my family lives across the country in Michigan, and so I don't really have a lot of options. Our uh, California governor has extended the executive order to allow the eviction moratoriums to be extended, so if the Board of Supervisors wants to do that, they can do that. And that is our primary ask today. But we do want to take the opportunity to talk about what's happening nationally right now. Because a lot of the issues that we're out here today regarding protecting all workers, not just some of them, regarding people over profit, regarding health care for all, these are legitimate along with the issue of housing. And these are also being underlined right now by the, um, the unequal People of color right now are being infected by COVID-19 way higher than other rates of people. It's because they don't have access to a lot of other things and the access that we want for those folks to have. If they have health care for all, they're going to stay on top and they're not going to get health care conditions. They're going to make them so that not only are they uh, more likely to get sicker in general, but they're not as acceptable to COVID-19. I'm here because lots of people have lost their health insurance due to being laid off from their jobs. Um, why don't we have a Medicare for all for everybody so we wouldn't have to worry about that and be tied to our workplace to get our health care. As we've seen throughout this virus, uh, there's a lot of uh, sectors of society that have been left uh, to fend for themselves and especially the undocumented uh, community, you know, there was no relief stipends or, or checks or there's no unemployment for, for these communities. And so we're, we're asking the government um, and the systems of power to step it up and to, um, you know, realize that that um, that we're we're human beings and we're part of this society as well. Uh, additionally, a lot of the resources right now for folks are not available to everybody. Unemployment is not available to immigrant communities. They don't have that resource. They need that resource. The uh, stimulus not available to people that are immigrants. It's not available and that's wrong. And it brings us all down and that's why we're out here uh, today. Um, I also want to point out that if you think this virus does not point directly to some of our problems, look what's going on in Sonoma County. What the hell am I talking about Sonoma County? We're talking about a crack nut sheriff who thinks he's a constitutionalist who's opening up Sonoma County right now. And guess what the rates are in Sonoma County? 70% of Latino population of people COVID-19 positive is Latino. What's the actual population? 
That's why he doesn't care. It's not his people. But we're here today to say we are all people. We are all family. We want people over profit and health care for all. There's people that work in the, um, in, the health, in the health system, and they're not getting any hazard pay. There's uh, people that aren't getting the, the gear that they need uh, during this emergency. Um, and then, um, and I feel like there's just a, a disregard for, for our lives especially. I am sick and tired of the ruling elite putting their boot on our neck and expecting us to put up with it. Uh, the fact that the wealthy oligarchs have been looting us for centuries, really. I'm joining a, a peaceful protest to say enough is enough. No foreclosures, no evictions, people over profit. The message is simple and clear. We're rising up. We've had enough. He has to stand up for the workers' rights and for people who are having lost their jobs. And we want the rent moratorium to continue. And also because of the killing of George Floyd. Thousands of others. And the thousands of others that have been killed by police an old civil rights worker, I'm just sick and tired of seeing all of our young black men getting killed by out-of-control out of rogue cops. If we're ever going to have meaningful change in this country, it's got to happen now and uh, not later, because there may not be an opportunity later. It's a color of skin. It doesn't matter, I learned that. I will be always undocumented in this country, and my rights will never respect if the people doesn't stand, my rights will never respect because the police is targeting us. Let's expect that they don't make presence with their guns. Let's expect for us that we come back every day, like the first day of the month, and we keep walking. Let's expect for us after the pandemic that this doesn't go back to normal because normal is genocide. And normal is evictions. And normal is undocumented people being exploited in the fields. That's normal for us. People dying of hunger right now. We don't want to go back normal. And that's why we're going to keep going every month. Um, so we see this as an ongoing issue that needs to be addressed um, regarding um, uh, the world that we want to live in and we want to participate in and that's why labor's out here today with a couple other uh, really viable community groups uh, to stand up to say uh, people over profit uh, enough is enough um, and also to underline uh, that um, right now with people out of work uh, people already uh, on paycheck to paycheck uh, that uh, we can't have people uh, being evicted uh, people being foreclosed upon because they're laid off of work um, and things are out of their uh, hands so uh, that's what we're out here to say no evictions and no, no foreclosures lastly we're calling upon the board of supervisors to do better uh, their uh, eviction moratorium uh, is uh, missing many key elements of it uh, additionally um, we see that on tomorrow's agenda, the supervisors, that uh, they're being possibly sued by Humboldt CPR, which is a BS organization that is simply out there for uh, the property owners um, and uh, large property owners. And uh, right now, those are the folks that uh, we're having issues with. So we're calling on folks to contact the Board of Supervisors to tell them to do better um, and to uh, extend uh, the eviction moratorium during this pandemic.